Hello, and welcome to School Health Presents Talking Tech with Dr. Ray. I'm here today with my good friend, Chloe the Comfort Cat. Chloe and I today are going to talk about a differentiated way to use her. We're going to use her as an outdoor cat. What do I mean by that? Well, those of you who know anything about Chloe recognize that she is a weighted stuffed animal. And so with that weight, we can actually have her as a way of calming individuals down while they're there in the classroom. We can actually have her work with older individuals who may have early onset Alzheimer's or some dementia coming in because this is, again, a socially appropriate animal that they can have with them to squeeze, to hold on to, or to add that little bit of weight. But now here's something that you want to be aware of too. Inside Chloe's little pouch down below is actually a bag that can be put into a microwave, warmed up. It can also be put into a freezer, but for the cooler months outside, we put it in the microwave, we bring it in, we put it inside of Chloe, and now that individual has an animal that they can be holding on to at any outdoor event. Maybe they're attending some caroling events that are going on. Maybe they're attending an athletic contest or some other type of extracurricular event that has seating on the outside level. This way, they have that sensory feedback that can go on, yet at the same time, they can be getting some of the warmth right there in their hands or even on their lap if they have Chloe sitting just politely on their laps. So this is a way for us to actually have the sensory side of things, which does include heat and cold, available for our individuals, no matter what the usage might be or the environment that they might be in. So when you're thinking about things for our individuals, especially as they're going out during these colder months, Consider this, something weighted, something warm, actually allows for focus, attention, less fidgeting, and the ability to participate inclusively with all others around. I thank you for all that you do out there, and I look forward to seeing all of you, as does Chloe, somewhere down the road.